we have seen increased uh, pregnancies in Uganda, one in every four girls right now under 18. The general threat since 1990 in Africa was into electoral democracy. I don't know where I was reading in a country where somebody had decided to recycle swabs until you think about the microbes. Political attacks that have been launched against the judiciary uh, and, uh, you know, it has not uh, received the kind of support that one would expect from the other arms of the state, from the legislature and the executive itself. Now, people are not fearing to fight their, their cases against their governments, against their organs. South Africa in particular is being labeled as a safe haven. It's in respect of a Dutch national who has been convicted for arms trafficking. On the other hand, where judicial officers do step out of line, they must be held accountable like any other public official. When you have a dictatorship, the social contract doesn't work. What works is resistance, you know, to that rule. Well, women and youth have been severely affected by the pandemic through the economic decline. We are glad to bring to you video gallery comprising eminent jurists and thought leaders from Africa as we discuss COVID-19 and the rule of law.